Hi grade 12 student. So in today's video, we are going to do part of income statement, uh, which is first part that you do when you prepare your income statement. Please, guys, I know that you know this part as a simple part because you just take sales minus cost of sales and you get profit. But I have realized that when you go to grade 12, you are going to face many tricks that you have to be careful of. Otherwise, you are going to do mistake from beginning of the income statement so please make sure that you watch until the end of this video so that you can know what i'm talking about okay let's take the question paper uh, that we are going to do today so this is the question paper that was written in limpompo uh, for march test one all right so we have um, uh, completed the statement of comprehensive income then it was 40 marks okay then now uh, they give us a trial balance and the transaction. Okay, if you check, we have been given a sales amount of eight million and eight hundred thousand. Okay. Then after that, they also give us a data allowance, which obviously you know that this one we are going to subtract. Okay, let's start by this part that you understand most, uh, which obviously most of you you are going to get a max. Okay, 800,000. Then you know that a uh, data allowance is the return from customers. We have to subtract them because they are no longer part of sales. Okay, then from there, guys, we are not done. We have to check the information. Information number one, a business price is good at markup of 60% on cost. Okay, in other words, the price of goods of this company they use a markup of 60% and the trade discount of 360 was allowed on invoice to certain customers. Okay. And again, remember the cost of sales amount is not given. Okay. But they give us a markup. However, guys, before that, we have to check information number three. A data, apology information number B first. A credit note of 49,600 issued to a data, which means that it's going to affect a sales now because it's issued to a data. Dated 25 February 2022 was recorded as an invoice. In other words, uh, a return was recorded as a what? As an invoice. Instead of subtracting, they come here and add, which means that when we subtract, we are going to subtract double. The first one for rectifying and the first one to do the right thing very simple okay however uh, guys the amount that we are given is 49,600 okay so what are we going to do now which means that this amount we have to make sure that we record it twice or we multiply by two 49,600 okay let me do calculation 49,600 times two is going to give us 99,000 200 then we will subtract 99 200 or instead of this guys you can just subtract it twice and say amount of 49200 minus another 49200 you are going to get the same okay then now we can close off and we get our our sales Okay, if you didn't get this one correct, guys, obviously, cost of sales, gross profit is going to be wrong, which means that your income statement is going to be complicated from beginning. 8,681,600. Okay, then after that, now we have to adjust cost of sales. Okay, how are we going to adjust the cost of sales? Let me wrap this for space. Okay, cost of sales, they told us that is 60% markup, which means that we can use the calculation of multiply by 100 over 160 so that we can get our cost of sales from sales amount. But remember from sales amount, we need to adjust 360 of trade discount. Okay, why are we adjusting trade discount? Because this amount we didn't receive it because we give them discount which means that it's costed us that amount that's why it's not affecting sales but cost of sales 
is affecting us because instead of receiving 10 rand, we receive 5 rand, which means that another 5 rand for us is a cost of sales. It's costed us. Okay, which means that we are going to say 8,681,000, this one of sales, because we, are, we want to use markup. And we add back, this is because we didn't receive it, it's costed us 1,000, okay? Then after that, now we can apply the formula of 100 over 160, okay? Then after that, it's going to give us amount of 5 million. 651,000 sales minus cost of sales is give us a gross profit of 3 million and 30 and 600. All right, so this is what you need to do, guys. So please, guys, make sure that you try to practice as many as possible question papers so that you can see. Because in grade 12, we have a lot of tricks. Make sure that you get so many guides. As accounting solution, we also have a study guide that uh, my subscribers from YouTube channel, they are buying from only 50 rand. Besides that, guys, we also have an extra class that we do online every Friday and Saturday. So every month is only 60 rand. Only 60 rand to attend online classes. So I hope you enjoy, guys. I'm going to record more videos so that you can learn some other tricks. But please make sure that you get guide, attend classes so that you can master all the principles and try to do as many as possible question papers. I'm going to see you.